Hello, my name is Dr. Karami. I practice medicine for the last 15 years at GMC, the Green Community Branch. When I realized that I need to talk about smoking, I thought about things that I want to say in this video and things that I'm not talking about. So basically, I don't need to tell you that cigarette leads to early death. Amongst leading causes of death worldwide, by WHO statistics and United States. The first five reasons and causes of death that are cardiovascular disease, lower respiratory infection, diabetes and accidents, directly or indirectly are related to cigarette smoking. But I'm not talking about that. Also, cigarette smoking leads to twice as much impotence, diabetes, myocardial infarction, early death because of heart disease, high blood pressure, and other leading causes of death. But I'm not talking about that either. Everybody who ever watched TV or listened to the radio knows that cigarette causes lung cancer. And every fifth person who smokes cigarette in his lifetime will develop cancer cells. It might be a fulminant cancer or might not be the cause of death, but that's for sure is happening. Every tenth person in United Arab Emirates has diabetes because we know that diabetes are having a background of ethnicity as well. And this, like I said, security smoking doubles the risk of the developing type 2 diabetes in middle age and even younger population nowadays. But I'm not talking about that either. So what I'm talking about? I'm talking about cigarette being the only carcinogenic product in the world that is proved by lab causing cancer. Um, cigarette chemicals, uh, mainly benzene, that destroys the function of DNA and accumulation over time of these changes leads to cancer. And I be dare enough to say that cancer of lung is not the worst cancer you might develop because of cigarette smoking. Let's not forget that from mouth to larynx to bronchial to alveoli to stomach to bladder all the way that the cigarette inhale goes down, all of these organs, even pancreas, can be cancerous because of cigarette smoking. The second thing I want to talk about is the environmental impact of cigarette smoking. So when you choose to smoke, you don't only um, waste your youth and health. You do that to everybody else and also the environment that we share. Um, which I don't believe we don't have the right to do so. The third thing I want to talk about cancer is I claim that COPD or any lower respiratory tract problems and disease are way more problematic for our population than cancer. Why I say that? Because not everyone develops cancer because of smoking. But 20% of people who smoke, even three cigarettes, three sticks of cigarettes a day, develop chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or for abbreviation COPD. This disease doesn't have a medication, doesn't have a treatment, and it's irreversible. In plain English, COPD means the structure of a structure of lungs to the point of no return, that no medicine can fix. It means being breathless when you're on the beach on a very lovely springy day. You cannot catch your breath while everything else is normal and it's only because of your smoking that this happened to you. Finally, I want to talk some aesthetic sticks that might hold some hope in the view. For example, we know that recently, over the last few years, consumption of chickpeas United States of America has gone up by 51%. And why is that? Because farmers in Virginia 
States being very famous or well-known and famous brands of cigarettes know how to plant chickpeas instead of tobacco because people get smarter and prefer hummus over cigarettes. And that's my final one with a hope for the future.